protesting against a speaker. When is that an expression of your free speech rights and when is that a violation of their free speech rights? There is no one sentence answer to that question. You know, at what point does a head... Hold up. There is two. We're coming really? back out to you in Wait a second, seconds. hold on a second. You just interrupted me. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Wait, 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 no, wait. Listen to what I'm saying, please. You just interrupted me. Did you vi did you violate my free speech rights? Did you? Wait, but did you just right? Okay, so so wait, hold on a second. Wait, 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 wait. I I this is wonderful. I am loving this so much because I am being prevented from finishing my sentence by people who feel like I'm I am expressing an opposition to free speech. This is great. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Wait, hold on a second. Give me a sentence. Give me one more sentence to say why I think that, that you have the right to interrupt me. I'm here, I've got a microphone. I've got a lot of power. I've got a lot of power in this room, not as much as the guy with the, the uh, clock, but I've got a lot of power. And so if I have a microphone, I can speak over you, right? If you are interrupting me, I can push on past you. I can wait till you're done and then I can respond. I can get the last word, right? There's a lot of stuff that I can do. And so I would say that when y'all start getting real frustrated with me and interrupting with me, interrupting me, you are not at all violating my free speech rights. You are expressing your free speech rights. You are exercising your free speech rights. There comes a point, probably, maybe you, you cut the mic, right? Maybe you storm the stage. Maybe you pull a fire alarm, right? Maybe there does come a point where my free speech rights have been violated by your disruption. But certainly the disruption that we just experienced was not a violation of my free speech rights. And so it's not just a one sentence thing, right? Because it's complicated. There is a mushy middle and- Hold up, hold up. <laughs> I think we've, and I'm going to do what they do and tell you to be quiet at this can point. I, can I can just say one thing and then we'll move on? This room of civil libertarians is the first time I've ever been interrupted as a speaker. So that's wonderful. I love that. <laughs> Excellent. One of the greatest things ever written about freedom of speech was written in response to the heckling question. It was uh, a plea for free speech by Frederick Douglass, the great abolitionist who wrote this piece after a meeting of abolitionists in Boston was interrupted by uh, racists and pro-slavery people and shouted down. And he wrote a plea for free speech, which is one of the best and most passionate things you will ever read in defense of freedom of speech. So that wasn't a First Amendment issue. The state, Congress, government was not interfering with his and the other people's rights. That was a matter of informal censorship forced, enforced by a mob. So this question, this question of informal censorship has been around for a long time. And if you want to know when heckling becomes a problem, i.e. when someone is prevented from speaking, read Frederick Douglass, read uh, the uh, minority groups who struggled for freedom of speech for decades, who you now demean through saying, oh, free speech doesn't matter. That's the shocking thing. Heroes of mine had their ears cut off, their tongues pulled out, they were tied to the stocks, they were pelted with eggs, they were jailed for years for expressing their freedom of speech. The idea that you would now turn against the idea of freedom of speech is a grave insult to history and to the people who made our lives as nice as they currently are. 